Never Stop Learning, week 129. I'm going to give you a quick tour of the Type on a Path options you have available to you in Adobe Illustrator CC. So I'll get started here in this document. I already have some text going along this path here. And I want to make some changes to it using my Type on a Path options. In order to find that, just come to the top where it says Type, click on it, and then scroll down till you find Type on a Path. Right away, you're greeted with five different options. These are different effects you could apply to your text. But if you come down here, where it says Type on a Path Options, you're greeted with this window, and you have a couple more options available to you. One of the first things you should do when this window pops up is click on Preview. What that does is it allows you to see the changes in real time that you make over here in this panel. So after I click Preview, I usually come over here, and I'll click on Flip if needed. What that does is it flips my text upside down. So the reason this is necessary is sometimes when I'm starting off with Type on a Path, it'll actually be upside down on my path. So now I'll come over here to the Type on a Path options, and then I'll flip it right side up using this panel. But since it was already set to the correct orientation, I'll uncheck this box. All right, let's start going down the list. First, we have Effects. You see here it's already set to Rainbow, and since this box is highlighted, all I have to do is hit the down arrow key, and it'll show me the next effect. This one is skew. You see the edges start getting skewed in towards the center a bit. We have 3D ribbon. This one's really cool. It lays uh, the text out flat here, but then it looks like they're starting to stand up a bit towards the edge. We have stair step, which is pretty self-explanatory. It makes the letters look like a set of stairs here. Next, we have gravity. Uh, this one looks like these guys are up straight, and then these start to kind of melt off to the sides a bit. All right, we'll go down to Align to Path. Uh, the first option we have is Ascender. So it's going to align the text to the path using the Ascender. Next, I have the option of aligning it to the, to the Descender. Here we have it aligned to the center, which is how I had it originally. Or I could align to Baseline. This is one I use often as well. I'll leave it on Center. And then we'll move on to this uh, section here called spacing. I uh, usually leave this set to auto because what it's actually affecting is the space in between the characters. If I want to make changes to that, I typically come over here to the character panel and make the changes there. But it's good to know you have the option of making the changes here as well. I'll click on this drop down menu and I'll change the value here. And since I'm already highlighted in this box, I'll just hold down shift and the up arrow key a little bit. And you see as I change the value, uh, my text is starting to get squished in together and they start piling up on top of each other. While holding down shift and the down arrow key, you see it starts to spread the text apart a little bit for me. Once I get to a point where the text is overflowing, you see I get this little red plus sign here. That's just letting me know that there's more information going beyond this point. I'm going to change the spacing here to zero and that way we get it looking back to normal. Now in order to accept the changes you've made, all you have to do is click OK and you're ready to go. And there you have it. That's just a quick tour of the different options you have available to you for Type on a Path. Next I want to show you what it looks like when you actually get started. So next I'll come over here to this blank artboard. I'll hit the letter L to grab my ellipse tool. Click and drag while holding down Shift and the Alt key. That makes uh, my circle nice and round with, uh, with it being drawn out from the center. I'll hit the letter C to grab my scissor tool, and I'll just click on these two anchor points here, and now I basically have two separate paths. I'll hit the letter T to grab my type tool, and click on here once, and I'm ready to start typing. All right, so I'll hit Command Enter to accept that, and this is what I was talking about earlier. Uh, when I started off, my text is actually upside down. So uh, in order to make the change, I just got to come over here to the Type menu, Find Type on the Path, Type on the Path Options. When I click on that, I'll click on Flip. But I don't see it updated here, and the reason I don't see it updated because I didn't click on this box here where it says Preview. I'll click on that once, and now you see my text is actually right side up. If I click OK, it'll accept that change, but I'm actually going to click on Cancel. I'm going to show you another way to work. So what you want to do is uh, come over here to the Tool Panel and make sure you have your Selection Tool activated. Next, I'll come over here 
and hover over this line. Once I start hovering over this line, you see my cursor changes a bit. Now I have this arrow pointing to the right. All I have to do is click and drag. And now I've actually sent, I've actually brought this out to the edge of this path. I'll click on center alignment and now it's actually centered on my path. And it's still upside down, but when I hover over this line here, you see the arrow pointing up. All I gotta do is click and drag. And now my text is actually right side up. So there you have it folks. I just wanted to give you a quick tour of the different options you have available to you for type on a path and how you can get started.